What's up guys, VST here, Venice Peace Tech. Welcome back to yet another video from 2021. And yeah, Samsung just released another update. This is the fifth Android 12 One UI 4 update for the S21 series. And that's really amazing, guys. This comes only seven days after they released the previous BUL6 update. And this makes it the 24th stable update for the S21 series, which means one update every 13 days. So I just think Samsung are really at their best game. This was a very good year for Samsung. And you might have seen some of the big guys out there just creating the awards for the best smartphones. A lot of people do nominate the S21 Ultra. I own a few phones this year. I had the S21, the S21 Plus and the S21 Ultra. I also had the Xiaomi 11. I used the Pixel 3 XL 3a and I also bought the Pixel 6. I use some other phones. But guys, the moment I took this phone in my hand, I use it for a couple of days and I put up a video, you can check it here, where I said, listen, this is going to be the phone of the year. And I did this before September, even before Apple released the iPhone 13 series and of course also before Google pushing out the Pixel 6. This phone really is still the best phone out there for me and I'm really looking forward for the S22 Ultra. The leaks are very good, the information we're getting is very good, so I'm really hyped. And guys, I decided to not make more videos until the end of the year just to have a bit of relaxation, family time. But Samsung keep pushing updates. Can you imagine? We have One UI 4 since a couple of like one months and weeks and now it's already the fifth update based on Android 12. And I can tell you, I do own the S21 Ultra and also the Pixel 6 and my S21 Ultra is getting more updates than the Pixel 6. So yeah, I just think Samsung really are at the top of their game. Let me install the updates, guys. It should be only just security updates and bug fixes and etc. But I'm just gonna do some tests, a bit of a benchmarking, just uh, do some apps, opening, closing, camera, opening, closing. If you're here for the first time, you might want to check some of my previous videos on types of reviews like this. And yeah, if you like the content, a sub will be much appreciated. Now let's fast forward. This here is the Galaxy App Booster and from here you can optimize all of your applications. Also what people do recommend, you can enter your recovery mode and also wipe the cache partition. Honestly, I'm not doing this so often and I don't think really it has a huge impact. All right guys, now let's just go and see the version. Your phone has been updated, your phone updated, all right? Software update and we go to download and install just to make sure that there is something else that we find out. Your software is up to date. I'm now using the BULC version. Security patch level is still December the 1st, but the overall security from the phone has been improved. Let's do some versioning checks, okay? I'm gonna enter right now and see the home screen, 13.0.0.1.14, it was the same also in the previous version. Let's check the camera, okay? I'm gonna go inside the camera, I'm gonna go here to the settings, I'm gonna go to about camera, all right, 12.0.0.83, it was still the same version. Now, because security has been updated, let's just go here inside the settings, guys. Let's go to biometrics and security, to more biometric settings, and check the biometrics security patch. All right, 6.0.0.2.1.1.3, it is still the same, although we know that security has been updated. Now, guys, what follows next? I'm gonna do some apps opening and closing. By the way, guys, you can just see I did not close any of my previous application, and I do really have a lot. So first thing is gonna be the camera, camera opening, right? Let me just switch it to the front camera, camera closing, all right, opening, closing, opening, closing, not that bad, opening, closing, opening, closing. And by the way, you notice I have removed here this navigation gesture hint. People claim that with this hint here, you know what I'm speaking about, the phone or the UI is a bit smoother and maybe maybe it's not maybe it's not a placebo, maybe this is really the, the, the real thing. See, by the way, experience lowdown, you're gonna get this notification, experience lowdown after software update boost now. So go back to Good Guardians and just run the Galaxy App Booster. Again, if you don't have it, I'm gonna be leaving the link down below where you can download it and install it. One more time, camera opening, camera closing, Camera opening, camera closing, yeah. There is this stutter, guys. It's it's far from ideal and it's really annoying, but it is what it is. I'm pretty much getting used to it right now. So let's just see how quick we can change between the most here. So this is video, this is photo, this is portrait, this is night, all right, portrait, photo, video. Okay, it's not so bad. All right, but oh, oh my God, you've seen that one. I 
I right now know that the commands are going to explode, but this is what it is, guys. It's really One UI 4, and it's really Samsung, and I think they're really now very much famous with the fact that the One UI 4, although being one of the best operating system out there, mobile ones, because you have a ton of customization, is really plagued with this luck, and it really drives me crazy, but I just get used to it right now. See what happened here? Even, even when I opened this folder, guys, you know, there was this micro luck here. All right, but yeah, I think it is what it is. What can we do, guys? All right, let's just see. Let's just see. Okay, opening here. Opening Mixcloud, okay. Oh my God, it's terrible. Opening Spotify. All right. Okay, let's now open the Google here. Let's open Gmail, all right. Let me open the Play Store. Okay, now it's getting a bit better. Now you see, this is a new software, so we always have to give it like the benefit of doubt. And of course, it's not ideal just install the latest software and immediately jump into some testing. I just do this because I just want to simulate a more realistic experience. And you know always that I try to keep pushing for some trustworthy reviews, which means, guys, that you buy the phone, you pretty much will have like a similar experience to what I have. But it is what it is, guys. It's it's really far from perfect. But okay. Again, for the benefit of doubt, I'll probably do a follow-up video probably two weeks after been using this latest firmware. Some of the people that already had it like for three days do report better thermals and that the phone is a bit more stable. In general, I never had problems with my Samsung, you know, being very hot, etc. with the thermals and it's really very, very stable. But guys, let's now do a Geekbench. Let me just run the Geekbench and see what we have. And I want to make here this big remark. The phone has been now just updated. I didn't even close my applications. Again, it's probably not the best time for you to do a Geekbench or any other benchmark, but I just want to do it. So let me just run it. All right, guys, thrilled to see Oh, ooh, yeah. All right, expected single core score, very, very bad. And I do only say this because, guys, you see, my idea for a good Geekbench score is if I'm close to the average, then it's okay. If I'm above the average, very good. If I'm below the average, then it's not so good. Now, obviously, in this test right now, my phone behaved very, very bad. Single core score, it's kind of awful. Multi core score, the same. It's in like almost 1000 points, like performance heavily heavily affected now guys just to be sure i'm going to reboot the phone and do it one more time it's really very very slow i don't want to accept this let me just do this one more time after me rebooting the phone okay and how does one reboot the phone from here okay let's meet up after the phone is restarted all right phone just got restarted and i left it for 15 20 minutes just to cool down a bit and I really hope that we're going to be seeing now some better results. Again, guys, this is probably not the best way to do a benchmark. And this is also the reason why I'm doing follow-up videos once I use it for a certain time. All right, guys, let's just try to run the Geekbench for a second time. And let's see how well or how worse this is going to get. We're now almost about to see if really second time is really a charm. Well, mm, yeah, still not up to the levels I have experienced in the previous benchmark. You can see the results here. And time to be real. Oh, not so bad, guys. I expected worse because last time in the November update, I used the very same conditions and then I got a score, single core score around 500. November numbers were even worse because I only got 511 on the multi core score and only the whooping 2174 on the multi core score. So that's still worse but it's a bit better than last time. So guys, it is what it is now. After the second restart, let's just try to do again some apps opening and closing. So it's Mixcloud, all right. Now I'm gonna go and open Spotify, a bit better, all right. Gallery, okay. Let's now go to my famous widget tester. Okay, so this is the weather, all right. Let's now open Spotify, all right. Widget works quite nice. Let's try to clean some of the resources with this widget here. Okay, see, memory now a bit better. All right, this is the device gear widget. It all works quite nice, I would say. Let's open the camera again. Opening, closing, opening, closing. Now probably a bit better in the second restart. 
Okay, now let's go to the left and see if we're gonna get a stutter when I'm accessing my Google feed. Oh, yeah, not so bad. And now let's do the test. Let's swipe down and see if we're gonna get a stutter when I'm unveiling my quick settings and notifications. No, no, it was good. All right, it was not so bad. And now let's see. Yeah, okay, now let's see the recent menu, by the way, quite fluid. Okay. Let me just take the phone in my hand. All right. Yeah, opening. Okay, let's now go with the rear camera, closing, opening, closing, opening. Let's do some shots on the macro one, okay. Focus and hands are on and off. Yeah, well, let's see. Well, it's still a Samsung phone, guys, but I do hope this update is gonna bring in one step closer to a better operation. If you have liked the video, guys, please don't forget to really like the video, subscribe to the channel, and please, you and your family, stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. With that said, VST, over and bye.